church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. The church you can call home. Yes. If you don't have a home church, come join us. Amen. Yes. Hook up with us. Amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God, and we have a passion for souls. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. And guess what? Everywhere you go out there, there's souls. Yes. There's people yes. everywhere you go. Yes, you can't yes. get away from them. You say, well, I can't be around them. <laughs> well, we used to be there. And somebody reached us, so we right. need to reach after them. As a matter of fact, yeah. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says what? We're new creatures in Christ now. Amen. The old is gone. The new is in. And he's using you. He wants yeah. to use you. We're his body. We're his church. Yeah. And we reach out to them. Amen. So don't be shy and don't hold back. Just let it out, you know, like you used to when we were in the world, you know. <laughs> Singing right, dance, yeah. man, and doing all that stuff, you know. Yes. Now we just do it for him. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> so we just want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yes. Just like we prepare ourselves every fellowship Sunday yes. and receive that food. Yeah. Amen. Oh, when mom goodness. says, when, oh, when, when, when the wife says, you know, hey, the food's ready. Man, I'm ready. I'm ready. We got to keep ourselves on ready. We got to keep ourselves open and re able to receive Amen. what God has for us. Amen. You know what? So <laughs> Sometimes we come as close as can be. You know, <laughs> I was sharing with the son the other day and when we was in the world, we was open, man. We're going to the bar. We're going to the club. And guess what? Before you even get there, I'm in the mood. Amen. I'm in the mood. I'm in the groove. And you know what? I am open to whatever the enemy brings. Whatever the world brings, I am open. Man, the music, the drinks, the talk, whatever it is, the gossip. Man, we are open. We come to the church of God as Christians, you know. And we're so close, man. I mean, a pick couldn't break through and get in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then you would like, you sit through service and God spoke, he had a great message for us. And guess what? We didn't get a thing. And that's what we say. You know what? I don't know what's wrong with the pastor. You know, I don't know what's wrong with the speaker. I didn't get a thing. Oh gosh, Man, because we were so close. We need to prepare ourselves and be open yeah. to receive whatever yes. God has for us. Yeah. It is not his fault. Amen. It's not the speaker's fault. It's our fault. That's right. You know, before we even get here, get the attitude to receive. Lord, bless the speaker. I know God is going to be there. I know God's going to move. Yes. But I want to be open to receive whatever you have for me. Amen. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> Just like we was, you know, on Friday nights and Saturday nights, you know, and we was hitting town in the honky tonk, you know. Oh, yeah. And when now we come and sit in the house of God, you know, we're so we're so close, man, nothing can open us. And you know what? Here's the thing. He says, you have your own free will. I'm not going to force my way in. He says, I knock. And if you open, he says, I'll come in. But if he don't, if we don't open up, guess what? Yeah. He's not going to force his way in. If you're going to receive him, you're going to confess and you're going to be open. And you know what? What that's called? It's called relationship. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Confess yes. him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And be there for him, you know, because he's always there for you. He says, I'll never leave you, no forsake you. I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo! I'm excited. Amen. If Amen. you can't tell, grab your Bible, grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do it since I can do it today. I've been talking with God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. You know what? We need to grow each and every day. We remember when we were little ones? How many grandbabies you held in your hands? We need to grow as Christians, we need to grow. We can't stay baby Christians all our lives. We need to mature in the yes. things of God. You know why? Because as you climb up, mm -hmm. there's new levels, new yes. devils. Robots. And you know what? They're ready for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you got to let them know <laughs> you ain't as ready as you think. Mm -hmm. There's greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Yes. And you know what's going to come out? Mm -hmm. All that word that's been going in right. is going to come out. 
Right. And that word is going to put him. It's going to put him in place, and it's going to put it set, set him yes. on on the on the run. Amen. Woo, hallelujah! I have a few nuggets to read to you before we uh, mm. before we get started. Amen. Yes. But I'm excited. This is the say for today. Say this: I have joy today. I have, I have joy. Today. I have health today. I have health today. I have all I need today. I have all I need. Today. And my steps are ordered. By the Lord today. Amen. Amen. We just sang that song a few minutes ago. Amen. The rejoice. Why? Because the steps of a righteous man are ordered of God. The steps of a righteous person are yes. already ordered by God. Amen. Yes. So you know what? We got to get ourselves in the right frame of mind. We got to get ourselves in the right priority. Yes. Amen. And say, wait a minute. Before I hit the world. Before I get out there and face all these giants. You know. And you know what? They're waiting on you. They just waiting for you, right. but you know what? You got to get yourself right, get the priority right, man. Put make sure he's on the throne. Get yourself off the throne and make sure he's on the throne. Get right. yourself ready. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. This is the day you have made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it, no matter what's waiting for me. He's with me. You right. know what? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Cause why? Cause he is with me. He's my shepherd. Amen. Where is she? We're going with it. We're going to go through with this. We're not just going to stop. We're going to press on. He says, press on, child of God. Why? Because I'm with you. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Lord, I need your strength. You know how many times Jesus went before the Father? We don't know. But I know he went before the Father and says, Lord, Father, I need your strength today. Yes. Man, this is hard. These people are hard. But I need your strength to carry on. He yes, says, Lord. I went through these things and you're going to go through the same things. But you know what? He says, you can do it because I did it. Yes. Amen. So Amen. we know we can do and go through all these things. So praise God. I've got a couple of joyful things I want to share with you. A couple of nuggets I want to share with you. Yeah. I call them scripture breaks. We take all kinds of breaks. Take a scripture break once in a while. You know, hey, praise Amen. God. Joy is mine. Mm -hmm. Joy is strength. Joy is a force. Joy is yeah. one of the most powerful spiritual weapons in the world. Whatever circumstances you're facing today, approach it with an attitude of joy. You cannot live a life of faith without being strong in the Lord. And when the Lord wants you to be strong, joy is what he uses. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Right. Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. Joy is not a state of mind or short-lived emotion. Mm -hmm. Because you've been born of God by the Holy Spirit. That fruit of joy is in you. Develop it. Confess it. Live by it. If you want to enjoy the power. You have the power. The Bible says that you have the power. Amen. So I'm going to use that power he's given me. Yes. What's power? It's authority. Yes. He's given us authority. Yes. Submit yes. yourself to God. Resist the devil. Yeah. Take authority over him and uh -huh. tell him where to go. You know what to do? Just tell him, go back to hell. Because yeah. <laughs> that's where he belongs. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Says, let the joy of the Lord be your yes. strength. Yes. Amen. Amen. What do I need? Yeah. I need joy. <laughs> well, we got some funnies coming in a few minutes. But uh, Psalms uh, 16, 1611 says this, New, new, uh, new King James. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness, fullness of, joy. of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. For eternity. Yeah. Amen. This is, you know, this is not our home. Heaven is our home. We're just passing through. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're going to occupy and we're going to do what God wants us to do. And he's called each and every one of us. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. You know, um. Don't separate yourself. When you separate yourself, the enemy's busy. He wants us to be participators. That means you have a, you have something to share. And he's made sure he's got a place for you. Amen. We are the body of Christ. Yes, and he has a place for each and every one of us. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. So we're going to be talking. <laughs> we're going to be talking about joy is mine. Number two. Amen. Or if you want to say it. La alegría es mía. Mm -hmm. Número dos. Amen. So, don't leave as you yeah. came. Sit down, depressed. Leave joyfully. Mm -hmm. Amen. And leave knowing that you are a child of God. Mm -hmm. God loves you. God is with you all the way. Amen. Amen. He's not yeah. finished with you. 
He's not finished with you. He's got great things for you. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. So praise God. So joy is mine. Number two, keep going. It says believers should be, or believers are the most joyful, happiest people on earth. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we know the truth. If you know the truth, it's going to set you free from all the mindsets, all the traditions, yeah, yeah. you know. If you don't know any better, people are going to tell you the way it is, the way it was, and the oh, way yeah. it's going to be. Or it's always been this way. Oh, yeah. Can't change, you know. It's going to be like this. It's going. It, no. What does the word of God say? Can you show me scripture on this? No. Well, don't receive it if it's not the word, because I want to live by what the word of God says, and I'm going to have scripture. I say, wait a minute. Let me set you straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what the word of God says, mm -hmm. and I want you to know. And this is where you can go in the Bible and sh and, and read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to be ugly with him. I'm just going to let him know. Yeah. Okay, I heard what you said, but let me tell you what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Two Sundays back, I think we, we, we learned joy. Yeah. What is joy? Joy is Jesus, others, yeah. and yourself. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus first, and he wants us, others, mm -hmm. and then myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's what joy means. Joy is Jesus, others, and yourself. Philippians 4 and 4. Keep going. <clears throat> this is good. I want you to know this. <laughs> I want you to know this. Separate yourself from blessing blockers. You know oh, what? Man. I am so upset because you're always getting blessed. Why? I want to know why. You know why? <laughs> Because my attitude is joy. Oh, and your attitude is sadness. Oh, right. And down and out. You know. <laughs> says separate yourself from blessing blockers now, they purposely distract you with sin drama fear because they cannot see you be happy oh, that's it <laughs> people get upset because you're happy they want to know why you let them know and be truthful you know why because jesus is my savior because i've confessed jesus my lord and savior and he shows me he's done for me and and i read his word and i spend time with him we fellowship together, you know, and he gives me the strength that I need each and every day to do what I need to do. I can do all things through him. Amen. And when you share on this, I say, you know what? I want Jesus. What do I need to do to get Jesus in my life? All you need to do is confess with your mouth. Lord, I've sinned against you. I'm a sinner. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? From that day on, you can press on to be a child of God. And he's ready to use you. No, yeah. don't listen to what so and so says, brother righteous so and so says, you know, you're no good anymore. There's only so many that can come to Christ, you know. No. Or you know you've sinned so bad, you know, God can't use you anymore. No, he sacrificed his son. Amen. Mm -hmm. And even the robber at the cross acknowledged and received Jesus right there. He says, Today you'll be with me in paradise. Right. So Amen. I don't care what you've done, you confess. Amen. You confess mm -hmm. that sin. And give it to him. And he says he'll forgive and forget you. Forget. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Amen. People don't do it. And the world don't do it. But Jesus does. He yes, says he yes. forgives and forgets. Yes. As far as the east is from the west. Yes. <laughs> so if he's forgiven you. Even though people may not. Uh -huh. God. He will. Yes. Amen. So guess what. <laughs> Lord bring you. He's going to bring new people. New friends around you. That are going to help you. And be yes. there for you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And your enemies, I mean your old friends. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's going to remove from your life. Oh, Amen. Yes. He's going to bring the right friends around you. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. I hope that blesses you. Amen. Oh, and bless yeah. me. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. I got all kinds of little things coming at you. But it says if Satan can't steal your joy, guess what? He can't yeah. keep your goods. That's right. You know what your goods are? You're good, say your blessings. Yes. He wants to bless you. He's a blessing God. Mm -hmm. For God loved us so much. He blessed us so much. He sacrificed his son for yes. us. Yes. Amen. Jesus loved us so much. He was allowed himself to be sacrificed. Yes. Amen. But he gave his life for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if Satan can't steal your joy, so just don't throw joy around like nothing. That's it. Amen. That's it. Since the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's it. Amen. Praise God. If he can't steal your joy, he can't keep your goods. That's it. You know why? Because I'm gonna let, I'm gonna remind him. Yeah. <laughs> those, those blessings are mine. <laughs> those yeah. blessings are mine. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Woo! 
Let me see. Be joyful and start celebrating your life today. Start celebrating your life on a daily basis, mm -hmm. not just once in a while. You know, hey, you know, when I get to be, mm -hmm. I can't say that. <laughs> I was going to say, when you get to be 70, I'll be 70 this year. <laughs> when you get to be, or say, let's say, when you retire, yeah. I'll get to celebrate and enjoy. No, you no. start enjoying your life That's each and every day. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. the greater one is in you. That's it. Amen. That's why, because I know I have victory. Right. We sang a few minutes ago, thank you, praise team, that really blessed yeah. me. We have victory in Jesus yes. daily. Amen. Yeah. Not just once in a while, but each and every yes. day. Amen. We have victory in praise Jesus. God. And you know yeah. what? You got to remind the enemy. You got to remind yourself, thank you, Lord, that I have victory in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you can speak it out. You can say it. Yes. The enemy don't want you to say it. You know what the enemy wants you to do? He wants you to be quiet. Yes. Yeah. Even though, well, <laughs> celebrate your life every day. Enjoy your days. Yes. Don't just endure your days. Keep going. Say, uh, Psalms 118 24 yes. says this. It says, This is the day the Lord has made. I, I will. will. It says, Well, some translation says, We will rejoice. Others say, I, I. And you can personalize it. Jose will have. A great day. Amen. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Okay. So listen, you set yourself right. You set your attitude right. I'm going to be joyful. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this day. Regardless of what circumstances are there. Amen. As a matter of fact, keep going, Carmen. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We'll, we'll come back in a few minutes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Right there. What does it say? Your, the, voice, your voice. Your words are the ticket out of your Satan's dominion and your circumstances. Your words. You know, sticks and stones can break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Wrong. <laughs> That's not what the Word of God says. Amen. Says your voice, your words are your ticket out of Satan's dominion. What's keeping you there? Your words. What you speaking? Is it positive or is it negative? Is it life or is it death? It's in your yeah. words and your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Why am I always having a bad day? Why am I always having mm -hmm. a bad attitude? Oh, why? Man. Why? Why? Because of what you're confessing. Oh my you're, what are you doing? The words are seeds. Right. And you're taking those seeds and you're sowing those seeds. And mm. guess what? When you sow a seed, yes, it's gonna come up. automatically it's, it's going to grow. In your garden. It's going to grow your in your garden. garden. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said, well, I sowed it in their garden. No, no you no. sowed it in your garden. Yeah. And it's going to grow here. Yeah. And you know what? We got to be careful and put a... a, a a guard on the things we say. If it ain't gonna bless him, if it ain't gonna bless him, don't say it. Don't say it. You know why? Because you're gonna have what you said. You're gonna have what you sowed. It's gonna grow in you. Woo! This is a side 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 road. <laughs> you can go back now, Carmen. <laughs> go back to uh, James four seven uh, seven eight. Okay. Says, <laughs> smile, give your face life. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Well, Keep uh, your rifles away. <laughs> <laughs> give your face life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, you're not dead. That's it. That's it. <laughs> give it a smile. Yeah. Listen, Woo. give it life. Give it a spiritual lift. Amen. Yes. Yes. Give it a face lift. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's better to smile than to frown. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you know what? More pe you're going to attract more people this way. When you attract people, <laughs> how you attract flies? <laughs> sugar, honey, some sugar sweet. A, a smile will attract. You know when you have people coming around you asking questions, let them know. Jesus is my Savior. He yes. can be your Savior too. Why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? Why are you always having good luck? It's not about good luck. Mm -hmm. It's about being a child of God yes. and being blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bless so praise God. Now 
when they come around you, now you can smile at them and let them know, Jesus is my smile. Jesus is the reason I smile. Yes, amen. amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. So give that face a lift. <laughs> give that face some life. Mm -hmm. You know, you've seen, well, for lack of better words, you've seen dead people. <laughs> you're yes. not dead. You're not dead. Maybe. So don't look that way. <laughs> yeah, amen. amen. <laughs> people are going to walk by you and say, man, you were just a dead. I mean, you were just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> how do I listen? How do I keep my joy? How do I enjoy life? I'm glad you asked. Right here, James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. New King James says this Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You double minded. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of translations I want to read at you, and I don't need them. <laughs> the easy to read version says this So give yourself to God, stand against the devil. Stand against the devil. How can I stand against the devil? Mm -hmm. You have the greater one in you, you have the word of God in you, and you can speak it out. Amen. Stand against the devil, and he will run away from you. How is he going to run for me? I'm going to speak the word. Amen. He don't want to hear the word. He's going to go. He's got. Yes. What, whether he likes it or not, he's got to go because yes, the word yes. of God says so. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have to be obedient to what the word of God says. And I'm speaking the word, so he's going to go. If I'm speaking something nice and easy and something I ain't supposed to, guess what? He's going to hang out. And you open the door, and he's going to come in. We, don't, we, we keep the door shut for Jesus but we open the door for the enemy yeah, each and every day. How? I don't do that. Yes, you do. By the words you speak. So be careful what you say. Come near to God and he'll come close to you. Amen. It says you are sinners. So clean sin out of your lives. You are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Make your thinking pure. Make your thinking clear. He says, you're a three-part being. You're a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Your spirit, man, feed the word of God. Your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. Renew your mind with the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. You know why? Because I can start the battlefield of the mind. I can think anything. I can hear, I hear all things, and I can think each and every way. And I can start thinking like the world right. if I don't renew my mind with the Word of God. Yeah. I got to renew my mind and be on track to where God wants me to do, where God wants me to be, what God wants me to do. And how can I do this? By staying focused yeah. and right. renewing my mind yes. the way I'm supposed to be heading, you know. <laughs> That's what we need to do. And your your flesh, your 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 you crucify your flesh because your flesh wants to just be easy and comfy and mm -hmm. do nothing and be yeah. lazy. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> so crucify the flesh. <laughs> Amen. And uh, keep going. Man, these are good. This blessing me. <laughs> Amen. First Peter five uh, nine. Let me see. NIV says this: Be alert and be sober, mind it. Your enemy. You got one enemy. His yep. name is enemy or devil, yep. or Diablo, yep. whatever you yes. want to call him, but he is enemy, mm -hmm. number one. He is your enemy, not your yes. neighbor, yes, <laughs> not your spouse, yes, <laughs> not your family, yes, the devil. <laughs> the Bible says, well, we're getting a little ahead of myself, but he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, Amen. He says, the enemy, the devil, prowls around in case you didn't catch it, your enemy, the devil. <laughs> Jesus prowls around like a roaring lion yes. looking for someone to devour. Mm -hmm. You see, he's looking his choppers there. Yeah. Shop, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Resist him. Stand firm mm -hmm. in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind mm -hmm. of suffering. Yes. He's attacking each and every one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. I said all that to say this. How do I keep my joy? First of all, we read a few minutes ago in James 4, 7, and 8. He says, submit yourself to God. Give in to Him. Yes. Yield to Him. 
surrender to him and commit yourself to him so he tells us James 4 7 says submit yourself to God and then he says resist submit resist mm -hmm. the devil take authority yes attack fight your battlefield that's yeah. your battlefield that's your battle right there but resist him yes he says you have when you find out in the word his word that you have authority over him you start using the word against him yes i say wait a minute you're not going to tell me what to do anymore you can't hold that against me anymore right, amen. i know the truth and the truth i'm set free from the enemy trying to hold me back yeah, yeah. from the enemy trying to do this go that say this no i'm not I'm going to resist you. I resist you. I submit myself to God. Mm -hmm. I'm under his authority. Yes. And I'm going to use his authority. And I'm going to come against you. And I'm resisting you. In Jesus name. Amen. He says he's got to flee. He's got to go. Amen. And that's number three. He says first is submit. Resist. And draw near. Right. We got to do something. How do I draw near? Well you know if I'm going to draw near. To somebody. I'm, that means I'm going to walk close to them walk near to them walk closer to them get closer how do we get closer to god his word right hey we open his word read his word mm -hmm. spend time with him grow in him yeah. that's called relationship amen church we need him yes he needs us he's using us he's the head we're the body so we're the church who is he going to use he's going to use his church to do and get wherever he needs to get here on, on, on earth. Amen? Amen. So praise God. So draw near to him. Come close. You can pray. You can do praise and worship. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can uh, use his word. Yes. That's how we do it. Yes. We can pray. We can sing. Amen. Or we can use his word to draw closer to him and draw stronger in him. Amen. As we grow, we mature in the things of God. And we can go and do what He wants us to do. Experience His presence. Renew, renewed joy. Renewed mind. We're going to renew that joy. You know why? Because I don't have to be in bondage anymore. I don't have to be that way anymore. Amen. I have freedom. I've been set free. Amen. And that's what He wants us to do. You've yes. been set free. You have authority. Why are you still being healed? You're holding yourself down. Amen. When you speak the word, it's, it's, it's free. You said you're free. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. The Bible encourages not to let the uh, devil steal our joy. We are reminded that our joy comes from the Lord as, as, uh, and serves as a source of strength. Amen. Amen. A force in our lives by, by remaining steadfast in his faith. Rejoicing in the Lord always and resisting the devil's attempts to rob us of our joy. We can experience the abundance of life that God has promised us. Yes. He's promised us. We have promises. But you know what? Say, Lord, this is what your word says. I'm going to stand on your word. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this blessing is mine because your word says so. Yes. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Good Lord. Yes. Come. This is blessing me. I don't know if it's blessing you, yes. but I, I, hope, I hope it is. And John 10, 10, we know, we, we know these things, but you know what? We confess them and we read it because it grows us. You know, one day, you know, this means something to you. The next day, the next time you think about it, you know what? I'm seeing it a different way now. That yeah. means you're mature and you grow and the Lord showed you something different about his word. You know what? He matured you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just graduated. <laughs> <laughs> You just graduated like Jethro to another level. It yeah. says, wow, I never saw it like that before. Ooh, hallelujah. You know what? It's not luck. It's maturity. Yes. I'm maturing in the things of God just yes. like we mature Amen. in the things of the world, you know. Yes. But John 10, 10 says this. It says, the thief, the devil, yes. the enemy says, does not come except to steal, to kill, uh -huh. and to destroy. Yes. Jesus says, I have come that you that, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. That they might have it more abundantly. He wants you to know you can have life more abundantly. Yes. Not just the way tradition says, not just the way people say, right. not just the way it's always been. Mm -hmm. 
but you can have life more abundantly. And that's going to make some people mad. Well, we've always done it like this. Why are you doing that? Why, why are you driving a car? We always walked. <laughs> <laughs> Maturity. We're matured. Amen. If Satan can steal your joy, he can keep your goods. We, we just saw that a few minutes ago. Keep going. Man, this is good. Amen. It's blessing me. It says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. You can go to Nehemiah 8.10. This is a B part. Mm -hmm. Where the New King James says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. I need his joy all the time. Amen. We need to notify ourselves. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. And show ourselves this way. You yes. know, I told you this many times, and I'll say it again. Before you hit the world, mm -hmm. and you wake up, Put your Jesus glasses on. Oh, oh, <laughs> I know you wanted to see them. <laughs> yeah, 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 Put your yeah. Jesus glasses on every time before you hit the world. You know why? Amen. Because you're going to see the world through his love and his compassion. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. Yeah, but you don't know that person, man. That person is the devil. <laughs> we try to give Jesus some advice, you know, about these people. And guess what? <laughs> Them same people that received Jesus one week. As king of kings, right. the next week they are crucifying him. Yeah. <laughs> so he knows about these things. We came to him, well, let me give you some advice. Let me tell you something about these folks. You know, they're not as good as you think. Mm. But for God so loved the world that he sacrificed and gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. So you know what? We need to get our priorities in order. Seek Amen. him first. Yes. Put our Jesus glasses on before you hit the world. <laughs> Because if you don't put your Jesus glasses on and get your priorities right, the world's going to have you. Uh -huh. Amen. It's hell out there mm. without Jesus. Oh, Amen. Right. <laughs> and if you have Jesus on, they're going to eat your lunch quick. Yep. Amen. So, you ain't no, you, listen, you ain't no match to the enemy. That's it. The enemy, <laughs> part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. He's, he's full time. Mm -hmm. He's not part time. And we only want to pretend, you know, hey, I, I go to church uh every Sunday. Well I go to church uh once uh I got I go I go to church once a month. Well, I go to church once a year, you know, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or for Easter. No. We gotta be full time. Yeah. We gotta be yeah. we gotta be participators, yes. not uh, spectators, you know. Oh, all right now. Amen. Ooh, come, come on, on now. now. Listen, Nehemiah 10 says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's King James. Mm -hmm. The Amplified says this, For the joy of the Lord is your strength mm -hmm. and your stronghold. Yes. Right. You want a stronghold. You know what a stronghold is? Is mm -hmm. when you dig your roots, mm -hmm. your roots deep down in yeah. faith in the Word of God. When you're down deep in the word of God, you know what? Yeah. Nothing can move you. Whenever storms of life come, you you may sway some, but you ain't moving. Yeah. My feet are on the ground. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My feet are grounded yeah. on him. Him. Amen. He's my stronghold. He's my rock. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Joy is an important yeah. part of a victorious life. Yes, it is. There's victory in Jesus. If yeah. I'm going to have a victorious life, joy is going to be my attitude. Yes, amen. amen. Joy is your strength when circumstances get rough and tough. Oh, man. And you know what? They will. <laughs> Don't call sister or brother gossip so and so. <laughs> <laughs> Every time something comes up, they can't help you. And don't go on Facebook and tell them all your problems, you know. Again, you know, we magnify the problem more than we magnify our God. They can't help you. Okay, so listen, if they come back and they say, you know what you need? You need a couple of joints. Or you need you need you need a good shot of tequila. You know, what are you gonna do? Oh, you know, so and so told me to do this. And next thing you know is you getting stopped. Yeah. And you're under the influence, mm. and you're going to put some time mm. because you took the wrong advice. Yes, right. yes, yes. Just listen to what the Word of God says. Oh, Amen. Yes. <laughs> Don't yes. magnify the problem. Magnify your God. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Joy gives his ability to laugh at the devil's face. Mm -hmm. You know, your mind is the battlefield, mm. and you get all kinds of things yes. you think of you know oh, and, and you think on something that says really the enemy says god don't love you 
Mm. You're not one of his. Mm. And I'm going to laugh in his face and says, really? Show me scripture. <laughs> you got scripture for that? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so get up, get off my, get out of my face. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Just laugh at his face, you know, Come submit now. yourself to God, resist him. He has, yeah. To, yeah. he has to go. You know what? Matter of fact, get under my feet. Yes, I'm, taking I'm taking authority. I'm taking authority. Says, give your ability to stand strong mm -hmm. when destructions try to knock you off your yes, yes. faith walk. Amen. He's gonna steal, kill, and destroy, mm -hmm. and he's gonna send things to distract you yes. and knock you off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Each and every day. Yes. Amen. So give joy gives you a standing. Stay in power that will yes. make you a winner. That's Be a it. winner for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be a winner for Jesus. He says, you know what? You're an overcomer. Yeah. I overcame. You can overcome. Yeah, can so overcome. be an overcomer for him. Yeah. Amen. Be a winner. Be a champion for Jesus. Who Again, Psalms 118, 28 says this. Rejoice and be glad in the Lord. Keep going. Well, this is good. I put I, I, I say before you, but it says, don't let the devil steal your joy. Steal your joy. Remember what he does? He comes yeah. to steal, kill, and destroy. But don't let him. <laughs> don't let him take your joy. Keep your joy. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Keep going. These are good. No one will take your joy away from you. John, write these down. John 16, 22. It says, no one will take your joy away from you. That's it. Amen. Unless you just want to give it away. You don't like being joyful? Oh, yeah. I do. Keep going. Now we go. King James 118 says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. Says we, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, but you don't know it's too windy out there to go out and have fun. <laughs> It's too rainy, it's too snowy. <laughs> it's never too just right. But you know what? Hey, we're going to stay in and we're going to rejoice and be glad in this day. Because you know what? There's no distance in prayer. And we can pray and we can have great fellowship. We can have great time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. So those things are not going to dictate. That's how it. I'm going to spend my day. That's it says it. rejoice Come and be now. glad in it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to be glad yes. because you've given me another day to serve you. Yes. And I'm going to serve you best I can. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I guarantee Amen. you, if you ain't serving him, you're serving the world, you're serving Satan. Right. And you're going to find out. Let me see what I can go and have a good time with. Amen. So from the time you wake up till the time you go to bed, mm -hmm. you're doing you know the wrong thing so why not turn that around and just do it for god amen, amen. and do the good thing amen Woo, hallelujah I, I i rushed this a few minutes ago and, and i showed it to you anyway but it says uh proverbs write this down proverbs eighteen twenty one says this death and life are in the power of the tongue mm. and those who love it will eat oh, its fruit yeah. if you love it and you speak it you're going to eat the fruit from it mm. amen says you and it's going to grow in you so yeah. be careful put a guard on your lip <laughs> don't say it just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth That's it. <laughs> just hold on to it say it ain't yeah. gonna bless nobody it ain't gonna bless That's nobody it. you know it. what you said you said it to, to put them down mm -hmm. and best thing to do is don't say it. Zip the lip. <laughs> zip the lip. Yeah, you can put a zipper on it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I saw somebody put on Facebook they had a, a safety pin on the on the lip. I said, Yeah, I, I'd rather put a zipper there, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. And the next one coming is the one we saw a few minutes ago, but it says, Your voice is your ticket out of Satan dominion. Yes. And your circumstances. That's good. You can get yourself and change the atmosphere. Yes, you can. Amen. From sadness to joyful. Mm -hmm. So my attitude is going to be mm -hmm. joy. The joy yeah. of the Lord is going to be my ticket, my strength. Amen. Yes. We're going to have to close so we can. Uh, Praise God. So so we can uh, keep going. Have some more joy. <laughs> have some more joy. We're going to have to do joy number three. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews twelve and two says. 
looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, yes. who for the joy that was set before uh -huh. him, you know, before he came, he knew he was going to be sacrificed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it says that for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despite yes. the shame. Mm -hmm. You don't know. <laughs> Hollywood makes it look real nice. It yeah. was not a nice thing. No, no, no. It was a shameful, shameful thing. Yes. Amen. Despising the shame and the set down at the right hand. And yes. sat down yes. at the yes. right hand yes. of the throne of God. Yes. And you know, in case you didn't know, I'll let you know. The right hand of God. Sitting at the right hand of God is a place of authority. Yes, it is. It's authority. So he sits at the right hand of the Father. Place of authority. <laughs> interceding for us mm -hmm. amen he wants you to do good he's not a mean god no, he's not. not holding it against you and all these other things you hear other people say mm -hmm. he see if he sacrificed his son guess what yeah. he's got grace for you yes there's hope for you yes. amen and he wants us to go and be ministers of reconciliation yes. and bring the lost to the world bring the yes. lost to him yes. amen so he wants us to do something Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. So in closing, yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> know that you can do all things through Christ. <laughs> Enjoy the abundant life yeah. Jesus died to give us. Yes, it's amen. based on the decisions you make yes. and not the yes. circumstances. That's it. Amen. That's good. That's so know that you can have victory over these things amen you have the victory yes. amen the greater one is in you yes. that you can do all things through christ who yes. strengthens you amen know that he is with you and that the joy of the lord is, is your strength amen, amen. Ooh, hallelujah amen. amen so those of you watching those of you listening if you've never accepted it jesus as your lord and savior now is the time yeah. today is the time this is the right time yes. you've waited all this time mm -hmm. so let's do it right now amen, amen. Right, all you need to do is say Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. You yes. know what? He's not going to turn you down. Yes. Amen. He's not going to turn you down and say all the things people have been saying ugly things about. Yes. Amen. He's still got hope for you. Yes, he does. Amen. And he's got things for you. As a matter of fact, he's called to you. He's anointed you and he's going to equip you to go and fulfill what he wants you to do. Yes. Amen. So he didn't forget about you. Amen. There's room for you at the cross and always, each and every time. Amen. All you need to do is just receive him and confess him as your Lord and Savior. And he'll come and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? It's up to us to stay busy for him. Yes. And, excuse me. To serve him. Because right. <laughs> we can get busy on all kinds of things. But we can serve him. So Lord, come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. And Lord, here I am. Send me. Amen. That's a whole different attitude. Amen. And whatever I do, I want to do it joyfully unto you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. If you have sickness in your body, speak to your body like yes. I do. Say, body, line up with the word of God and be healed. So by Jesus' stripes, I speak healing over yes. my body. And I command that sickness to go in Jesus' name. Yes. He didn't give me no sickness. Amen. He's given me freedom. He's given me he says, by his stripes, I am free. I am healed. healed. So I'm claiming my healing. And I'm commanding that sickness to go in Jesus' name. I don't Amen. receive it. And I'll speak to my body to function the way God created it to function. Amen. No malfunctions in my body in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. My mind is clear. My mind is alert. Yes. I have the mind of Christ. So be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's time to give. Just go to our website, should be on our screen, nbcbigben.com, hit that donate button. Yes. If you go on mail, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Amen. So remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. Don't give up, don't give in. But Go and do what he wants us to do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise.